Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be walking you guys through on how to make another different page. For example, in this case, we're going to make the next page that we will be doing, which is whenever when we click on any of these blocks here, there's three blocks here. Let's say if I click on this particular block here, I mean, this particular page needs to, me to get redirected to another page. And that page should be, will be having the actual content of a particular block that we click. So that page is going to be called blog content so then that's the that's the thing that I would like to show you guys on how to make the blog content page that's the thing that we will be doing so but, but then before that currently this particular page as you can see you are seeing currently uh, at the moment right now this is we are using app.jsx so app.jsx is not a page it's the file where you, you are able to redirect to multiple pages not to become a page so that's why we, we are not going to use, we are not going to proceed with using app.jsx to keep as a, as a page. So what we'll be doing here, we're going to be having another, we're going to be having another folder called pages. In that, in that pages folder, we'll be able to keep all the pages that we'll be routing through entire, this entire process of blog. So let's go and create a new folder and inside the uh, source file. This, in this case, going to be called uh, pages. Okay, so inside pages is where we're going to be starting with uh, creating the home page. Okay, the home page is where we're going to be keeping this particular page you are, you're seeing at the moment right now. So in this page that we are using here is going to be called uh, home page and we will be keeping that particular home page under this folder called pages. So I'll have to, call, I'll have to create a new file called uh, home page and it's a JSX file. So homepage.jsx. So in this case, of course, as usual, I'll always be starting with RAFCE to create the functional component. And since it's a it's a separate folder, so of course we'll be having an index.js as usual, just to just to have another file where we are able to uh, export all the files in one uh, pages and that one folder called pages. So that's what we we'll, that's why we will be using index.jsx. Let's use uh, import. In import home page from uh, dot slash home page and since we're importing it we also need to export it so export curly braces home page so that's it that's it what this is what we're going to be using for index.js so let's go back to uh, yeah let's go back to home page here home page is where we'll be keeping all this element that you are currently seeing on your right hand side so I like to, I like to go to my app.jsx I like to take everything that's coming from here I'll take all of this and I'll be pasting inside home page. Instead of home page text here, I'll be pasting all the uh, components that are actually being uh, laid out for app.jsx. It's going to be pasted inside home.jsx. So as you can see, this is not, we need to import all these three components. So I'll be going back to my app.jsx, just taking all of this and I'll be just pasting inside my uh, home page.jsx. And as you can see here, this is not the way how you're able to import because the component is not located. Uh, from from this particular folder, it's not dot slash. So as you can see, when I would it like to access this particular uh, components uh, file here, as you can see here, and it's not clickable. As you can see, when I click on this, it's like it's having showing it's not open because the file not found. So basically, it's not located uh, dot slash. Just need to add another dot. So let, let's click save, and when I when I yeah, need to make sure I save all. So let's go. As you can see, here, this particular uh, file is actually empty because the home page is actually not called in app.jsx so really app.jsx is empty so let's I'll just like to test whether is it coming from app. Uh, as you can see it is indeed coming from app.jsx so since home page is ready to be called i like to go to my uh, app.jsx and of course need to be importing import home page from dot slash pages so let's copy home page and i like to create the component called home page and of course it's going to be having its own self-closing uh, tag and of course I like to click save and there you go you are you have already done your first page called home page so so as you can see by default whenever when you open this particular website home page should be the one that comes uh, by default should be opening up by default so now let's create this next page which I've just mentioned to you which is the block content uh, page that way we will be showing what is the actual content of the block, particular block that we clicked. So that's what you're going to do here. Let's go to pages again. So inside pages, I like to create a new file called blog content.jsx. Okay. So blog content page where we'll be having 
of course it's going to be having we'll be having the nav bar but instead of this particular blocks we'll be having the content of a particular block and and of course we're going to be we're going to be using the same footer because it's a reusable element so it won't be a problem use reusing the yeah the same element same component by the way let's so, so let's let I'll go to go to home page here and copy everything whatever you see here just copy everything and to go to my blog content page I like to paste it like this so in this case just need to change this home page to blog content something like this so that you're able to import whatever you're doing inside this particular code and of course since we are we have already did this particular page so let's go to index.jsx and I mean index.js and let's import it and of course we need to, once we import we need to just import it like this which is coming from dot slash blog content and as you can see, you need, to, you need to make sure that our spelling is uh, right all the time and just need to export it like this. So, as you can see, we have created two pages, but, the, but then they are exactly the same page. Here. But the difference is, inside block content, we won't be having this blocks component, which is this component here. We won't be using this component here. I mean, we like to comment that out. So, I like to also remove this particular uh, blocks uh, import here. So now instead of instead of like leaving it blank, I need to be I need to make, make sure I must be able to access it from the default here also. So in this case, I have to call uh, log content. So as you can see now, I'm able I must be able to see both of the five both of the pages in the same app.jsx. So but then I must not be able to see both of them. I must I must only show one one of them at at one time. So I have to click save. And as you can see here, block content is not actually being shown. So I need to make sure I must be able to save everything so that we are able to see the difference. So as you can see, here, there's only uh, I mean, as you can see, here, when I just refresh the page in the diff in the uh, in the app .jsx, which is only showing block content. The reason why it's only showing navbar and footer is because, like I've said, I've just commented it out the blocks page. So instead of blocks, I would like to replace it with another new section so I like to do that section so now I want to go to my components here so inside components I might be having I like to create a new uh, component called block content this is this is the component that we'll be creating to make sure we are able to yeah show the content of a particular block that we click right so let's yeah let's create this particular component let's go with uh, RFCE as usual so like to let's I like to like import this particular component directly uh, to my uh, block content page so there's a difference between block content component and a block content page so I like to, I like, to like make sure I must be able to import it like this for example let like, just like this so copy everything just gonna paste it below and I like to pay and I like to replace these two words with block content and copy this here just gonna paste it directly here as well so once I able to directly copy it directly here, and I must be able to access it inside here as well. So you can see here, right beside footer, we'll be calling block content here, and inside instead of blocks here, I'm like to instead of blocks, I like to replace it with block content. So I must be able to see the uh, the components actually running in between navbar. So as you can see, yeah, as you can see. I mean, I must be able to save everything first so that I be able, I will not be having any error. So in this case, as some error has occurred, let's check and see what's going on. As you can see, so as you can see, block content has already been declared. So what we can do here, instead of actually calling it here, what you can actually do is that uh, we can actually change the name of the, of of this particular. Uh, so what you can do instead of block content here, just gonna make make change the name to block content uh, page. So it's gonna be adding block content page something like this. So also I'll be changing it here as well. Instead of here, I'll be pasting it. Here directly here, and yeah, just just not to get confused with the component, the block content component and the block content page. So I like to change it everywhere, everywhere possible, like here and here as well. Okay, block content page, and of course, gonna be also need to be changing it inside my app.jsx, which is here block content like this. Okay, now let's click save. And of course, it should be working. As you can see, now it's working because it's not. We need to make sure we don't actually make the same name with components and pages. That's was this is what I should have be taught you earlier. So as you can see, now we have changed to a different name, which is block content page. We are actually able to call block content component inside here. So let's go back to block content components here, which is right here. We are able to now make uh, the actual designs and the actual. Uh, is a code for this particular uh, section of the page. Now let's get started. 
and I'm just going to make sure we are only are able to see this particular block content uh, component. So inside this component here, we'll be able to, we're going to make some uh, add some designs here. For example, let's open the main component here. Inside the main component, we'll be having a class name as usual. The class name is going to be uh, with equals to full, and also like to make sure there's some uh, padding at the bottom, which is ten. And of course, I like to give some uh, background color of yeah of some gray to see the color. And inside inside this particular div here, I like to call another div, for example div like this. So inside the second div, I'll be usually be making the uh, for I'll be making the design for the container. So that's what I'll be doing. So I like to make the container for the max. A uh, width of 1240 pixels as usual, and of course, gonna be of course, I'll be placing it center um, margin x axis of equals to auto, which means it's like to make it in the center all the time. And the next thing I want to do is I like to make I want to create two column, two column to actually to separate between the content of your uh, of your block and the other side of the column i'll be placing the the author who is the author of this particular content so that's what i'll be doing so there, there, there's going to be two component there's going to be two columns i'll be using so i'll be, so since i'm using columns i'll be usually i'll be using uh in this case i'll be like to call another div so inside this this i'll have to call class name and that class name will be having grid and of course since i'm using grid i'll be need to be using also need to be using grid uh, calls and this this grid calls will be having three columns by the way okay so you need to make sure I have put s here grid calls and of course for this three columns is meant only for large screens okay so LG and what if it was not not a large screen or medium-sized screen so I need to make sure for medium-sized screens I must be making sure I put grid calls three as well and also for small sized screens I need to make sure the grid is not it's not going to be a uh, very uh, huge so I need to make sure I only place yeah I'll be making sure three uh, columns as well except for the last one I need to make sure the last uh, the smallest sized which is SS here I like to make sure I like to call grid calls must be equals to one and the next thing also I want to add let's go to the next line here the next thing I have to add is actually I have to do uh, usually I'll make a gap gap between these two uh, and that gap is going to give about like x axis of 8 and this gap also I'll be giving for y axis of, of 8 as well and the next thing is I like to give padding x axis as I'm going to be making it 4 and the next thing is I like to make it for small sized screens I like to make I like to give some padding uh, top equals to 20 and for medium sized screens I need to make sure I only give margin top equals to 0 and for small uh, small size screens, I must be giving padding top of 20 as well. And the text is going to be black. And of course, that's, that's yeah, this is the thing that I'd like to use for for the columns uh, styling. So inside the, there'll be three there'll be three columns, but we're gonna we're gonna make use the first two of three columns just for the content. Okay, so that's what I'll be doing here. So I like to make sure I like to call another div like this. Okay. Inside the first div here, I need to have, be having the class name as usual. So this class name will be having call span equals to two. So I'll because, because I'm making use of the first two uh, columns for the uh, for three three columns. So I'll be using the first two. So just to just to have the content of the block. And the next thing is I need to, I need to be giving usually be giving gap of for f for x axis of eight and also another gap of y axis of eight. So in that way we are able to make and we are able to arrange them neatly. And the next thing I have to give is that also the next thing inside here I like to I like to call the the content of the uh, blog. So inside the content we happen to have uh, multiple content. For example, there's an image, there's a cover image for the content. We also happen to have the text. We also happen to have the title of the blog. So there's three things that we will be using. So first of all I have to call image. So it's a self-closing tag, of course, and it's going to be having source. Inside source, I'll be, we need to be calling uh, the source of the image, by the way. So in this case, okay, I'm just going to make it empty for now. And okay, and before before source, here, I like to also need to like call class name. Class name. Inside class name is where I'll be placing the styling. For example, the height is going to be uh, 56, and the width is going to be full because this is just one column here. 
and of course I like to make sure it's object cover okay so uh, this is the styling here and the next thing is I would like to call also uh, h I'd like to call the title of the blog so it's going to be a h1 tag so inside the h1 tag I like to have some uh, yeah, styling for example class name I like to have the font should be uh, bold and the text should be 2xl so it to, so to be make to making it bigger than the other one also I like to have my margin of y axis to be 1 and also like to give some padding to the top here of 5 okay and here I'd be like to I like to call the title the blog title here so in this case going to be blog title and followed by the, the next thing is basically I need to call the content itself, the actual content of the blog. So in this case, I like to call a div file, and of course, it's going to be I like to call a class name. This class name is where we'll be having a, a padding top five because we like to make it separate from the other. Okay, so uh, that's it. So I like to call a p tag inside here because it's, it's, the p tag is what we're going to use to call the blog. So I'm going to say this is the blog. content okay okay so that's it so as you can see here this source is not actually filled here I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make some dummy like this so as you can see here I like to click save so as you can see here on my right hand side or you can see here your blog is able to see the image here and this image will also be having a blog title and also this is gonna be a this is gonna be the blog content here so in this case before I move on I like to make sure I have filled this particular I have some actual content and not just some some words like this so I like to have take some actual uh, content so before that let's let's make it make it like dynamic for example I like to, I like to go to the top here and I like to call const uh, blog I like to create an object a dummy object called blog instead this dummy object called blog is where we will be having all the element of its okay so you can see here now I have a dummy set of object for block here so I like to just transfer it to here for example as you can see here in this case instead of source here I like to make sure I'll, I'll be I'll, I called uh, yeah I like to call block dot cover image and for title here I would like to call a uh, blog dot title just yeah don't make any mistakes and the next thing is it's gonna be the content here this is where the content is gonna be placed so I like to call of course blog as usual blog Dot, in this case going to be content and let's click save and also as you can see here that this particular uh, image is not actually fully expanded so you need to make sure there's some error here so as you can see here there's a spelling error for full just need to add L at the, at the back here just need to add full and you'll be able to see the see the difference like this and also you I think I think I am forgetting another line of code here and this is like one styling here just to make sure we put object uh, cover so that we are able to make it make it to be cropped instead of just stretched like this we must be able to make it cropped instead so as you can see here now it has been cropped and as you can see now it's perfectly uh, looks like an actual blog content and yeah this is the this is how you are able to make uh, a simple uh, the first content the first part of